So you just landed in the rough. And now let's just pretend that these two chairs are the height of a bush that you just can't throw to the left or right, no matter how far you stretch. You know, no matter which way you go, you can't throw a sidearm or backhand at normal height. And obviously you can't put straight on. There's no way that your backhand is gonna be able to get through this bush because it's just too high. Now what you could try is like an upside down kind of shot trying to get past it. So maybe you get lucky. Or you could go with the smart decision, which is a turbo pump. So throwing the turbo putt actually isn't that hard. And all you have to do is follow a couple steps. And most of these steps go with every other putt that people do, like backhand putts is the same thing, same setup, just a little bit different. Now I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing is how to hold the disc. Now, normally there's like these little nubs in the center of the disc. And now that's exactly where I put my thumb. And basically all you want to do is have it balanced in your hand. And if you can do that, then you're pretty much done with step one. Now step two is setting up with the basket. When you set up with the basket, all you have to do is first make sure that you're not crossing the line and that your throw is legal. And then after you do that, all you have to do is make sure the seam on your pants. So usually like on your shorts or something, there's a line that goes right down the middle or jeans or whatever. Make sure that is lined up with the pole. And then after you do that, make sure that the pole and chains are in between your hips. Once you do that, as long as you follow the next couple steps, there's no way that you're going to miss left or right. It'll either miss too high or too low, and those kinds of things you can definitely fix with the turbo putt. So step number three with the turbo putt is when I like to go putt, I like to use both hands. Now the reason for this, I'm trying to show like a point of view because this is the most important thing. Once you're lined up, you use both hands and what you wanna do is point it nose down a little bit. Now the reason you wanna point it nose down is because typically, if you were to throw a turbo putt from this distance and you just throw it straight, it's gonna to be too high, right? Cause your hand way up here is way above the basket. So what you have to do is throw it nose down, make sure it goes in. Once you decided whether the elevation is level, you know, it's a little bit uphill, downhill, however you have to decide with the turbo putt how you want to angle it, like nose up, nose down. Now you get to go to the fun part, which is actually throwing the putt itself. Now I've been working on the turbo putt for a long, long time. And now I've had a lot more success with doing this technique that I'm about to show you now. So after you line up and everything, all you want to do is follow through. Just pull your arm straight down, throw it into the basket. Now obviously this is easier said than done, but if you line up straight, your putt should go exactly where you throw it. And if you just fall through dead straight, don't try anything crazy, just throw it dead straight down. It should go right in every time. Now something I forgot to tell you about the turbo putt is pretty much where I'm aiming. Now you see where the disc is in the basket. That's pretty much where you want to throw it. So a perfect putt would be low and to the left because a turbo putt spins like a sidearm forehand. So it spins the same way as like a hyzer forehand. So it's gonna go, it's gonna spin left and then finish right. So pro side is left and you wanna hit it low because obviously, I mean with any putt too high and it could easily spit out. Now I think for most people who try like just randomly try the turbo putt, they have a problem working on the, having it spin off the disc. So what I like to do when I'm actually throwing a putt, and I line up and every everything's lined up when I throw it. So I have my thumb, I have my fingers a little off center. So when I throw it straight, it's just gonna spin right off the disc. Now, honestly, I'm just comfortable holding it like that. So my thumb is basically pointing straight at the basket and my fingers are a little off to the right. So when I throw it, I'm not thinking about it and it'll just naturally spin off my hand. Now I know some people have difficulty with that and that's pretty much one of the things that's just gonna take practice and to learn. Once it's balanced in your hand, you're gonna have an easier time with learning how to spin it off your hand and getting the distance that you're looking for. Now let's talk about the three different stances that I like to use for turbo putt. And obviously these things can vary, but we're just gonna about talk about the three basic things, not talking about pitching out from the rough or anything like that. So anything within from 50 feet, 50 feet and closer, I for sure use a straddle putt just because I feel so much more confident when I'm lined up 
and I know there's no way that I'm going to throw it high and way past. So I have the best chance of shorter putts with a straddle. Now anything, um, you know, 80 plus, I might go with a traditional backhand style lineup. So like you would see a lot of backhand putters, they use their momentum off their left foot. Now you can do the same thing with turbo putt. You still throw it straight down, but you're able to get a lot more power out of it. But the, the downside to this is you're going to be throwing a lot more straight instead of nose down. It's going to be a lot harder to control the nose down when you're, when you're using that momentum to rock in onto your front foot. Now you can keep it a little bit nose down, but I've noticed that it goes a lot more flat no matter how nose down I try to keep it. And then the third stance you can take with turbo putt is actually lead with your opposite foot. Now this makes a lot of sense. This is for the very long turbo putts, but this makes a lot of sense because if you think about it, when you throw a baseball, you, you end up stepping with your opposite foot in the direction where you want to throw the baseball. So if you did the same thing with a turbo putt, you're going to be able to get the most distance possible from your turbo by leading with your opposite foot and usually if I was going to do this in a, a real putt I would do something like what like a walk so I would do something like this and if you watch my hundred foot turbo video you can see I do the exact same thing that I was just talking about so I can get the most distance and still control it now that about wraps it up for the tutorial. Those are just the basics of the turbo putt. If you guys want more um, advanced tips, you can let me know in the comments. Anything you have questions about, let me know. But let's move on to something exciting. Okay, so I got a request for how roughly I can throw a turbo putt. So we're gonna use this tiny tree as a marker. And we're just gonna roughly walk off how far this is from where I'm gonna throw and then um, see how close I can get it. So from here to that tiny tree, it was 65 steps, and we're just gonna guesstimate that each step was roughly about three feet. Now, my goal is to try to get as close to that tree as I possibly can. Now I'm gonna put the camera back here. So it's about 195. Get, just, just estimating, 195. And now I put the camera back just a little bit, so I'm gonna be walking up to about this little, uh, foliage right here and I have four I'm just gonna use four attempts I'm not trying to get all the way there this isn't like a trick shot or anything if I do hit it obviously that is pretty cool but so 195 feet I got a mid-range a fairway driver that I think I can you know s out with a turbo and I got two of the putters I normally putt with all right let's try it out All right, so I'm gonna say that wasn't my best distance uh, showcase right there. And you can see like the, I was walking up just to here and it wasn't all that level. I'm wearing flip flops. There's a bunch of reasons why I didn't throw it too well, but I did get one good rip off the driver. Um, I'm just gonna measure that out real quick. I should have uh, been thinking about it. All right, let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. So putter made it about thirty-seven feet, which would be uh, something around one hundred and eleven feet. Guess, just guesstimate. So thirty-seven, 
38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have 47 steps, so that's um, 141 feet guessing. Just each step is about three feet. So this was the little tree that we were going for, and you know, we're about 50 feet out. I would say that's actually not too bad. I normally don't uh, turbo putt with drivers and stuff, but maybe a really short hole I would actually consider it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.